Hey, welcome back to Lame Chop Builds. How is everyone doing today? Quick little uh, update on the the dart, I guess. Some uh, little stash ads, I don't know. There's a little update video today. Not done a lot with this. I've been, I filed down the, where the emblem goes back here. I did cut the, the trunk off a little bit. The back edge. I think it's going to help it fit better. Still a little work to do. You can kind of see it's not perfect yet where I want it. I thought about notching back in here out a little in this area. Right in here. Put some putty on here. I'm going to same that back down. May notch that a little bit. Try to get this to where it starts sitting. A little more level. I'm going to take some styrene rod, I believe. Glue in to the, each side here. Then start filing that down to where it'll sit. And then we'll putty in the contour line. Who knows? I don't know yet. It'll get there. I think I got to give a... Not a We'll do a shout out real quick to Mean Machine uh, on off of eBay. We messaged back and forth a while back, and then I followed back up with him. He said, follow back in a month. I forgot about it. And uh, he sent me some wheels. They are hammers. Let me see if I can get that to zoom in real nice. The file was available, I think, somewhere. But no one had it on eBay that I could find. But I followed back up with him, and he uh, he made these. Now he has them on his eBay site to for sale. Because I'm doing a, a later event, I'm gonna do a tribute on my dad's '67 Charger, and he ran the narrows in the front. These are 15 by sixes, and these are 15 by tens. I'm gonna use these on another project. He ran center lines on the back and then the hammers on the front. He had, uh, when he got the car, it did have center lines on the front, but was, one of them was cracked and kept going down. So he just bought the hammers for it. But eventually that's going to get done. So I got those. They are hammers here. The mean machine. And some cool brake, uh, disc brakes. Let me pull one out here. These bags are hard to open sometimes. I like a drilled rotor a little bit. Let me get this thing back up here to where I can hold that. And the rotor is on both. It's like a, a fully detailed caliper. That's kind of cool coming with those. So, these are good. I like those. That's going to be for another, but these are for another project down the road. For my dart, I went with Jay's resin wheels off of eBay and picked up some uh, the Magnum 500s. In a 21 and 20 inch. Those will look, uh, look good on there. It's all said and done. Tucked up, be tucked up in there a little bit. Yeah. I'm not going to cut the wheel openings for the, the drag version. I'm going to use the like a resto mod, I guess. Stance. It may be jacked up a little bit in the back. We'll see. We'll see once we get there. How it's going to ride. We'll figure that out later. But so far, this the wheels I'm probably going to use on it. Not guaranteed. Yeah, these are J's, and the other ones are from Mean Machine on eBay. 
I thought it was pretty awesome that he uh, took the time and did model them and get them made for me. You know, I was just been wanting to get a 3D printer myself, and I haven't yet. With my job situation at the moment, I ain't having it yet. Maybe here in a couple of weeks or a month or so, we'll get back to that. Other than that, kind of a quick video. I did order this off of Amazon. Everyone's talking about, you know, spraying them 2Ks, you got to use a, should use a respirator. So I've, Fifteen dollars, and it came with three three sets of the uh, pads in here. So, figure my lungs are worth it. Don't have any issues. But down the road, I think that's about it for this video. With that, happy modeling. We'll see you next time on the uh, Fame Chop Builds. Thank you.